we had the rare pleasure of witnessing one of the more peculiar lifting jobs you're likely to see, carried out by DTS Lifting. They are the proud owners of the first unit of its kind in the entire United Kingdom, the Befard TB7002E, a fully electric, fully equipped spider crane. And this Polish-built crane is now crawling through suburban gardens in the south of England. When the delivery van arrived and the straps came off the load, everyone on site looked at each other with confusion. Because somehow, this oversized jacuzzi was meant to end up there, behind that garage, right at the back of the house on the patio, 37 meters away from the curbside. The initial plan was to lift it in two stages. Getting the crane into position turned out to be a saga of its own. So at the minute the crane is equipped and configured with the fly jib as we can <coughs> see. The maximum uh, you can lift on the fly jib is 700 kilograms and the load that we'll be uh, tackling today is around 400k. For example, the hypothetical uh, scenario, if the hot tube was heavier than 700k, that would equal with removing the fly jib and basically lifting on the main arm, which has one, two, three extensions, which is a good question. I need to verify how heavy you can actually lift. The maximum you can lift close up is 3.1 ton. On a full stick, a full stretch is about ton. Well, let's, let's do a little bit of brief of situation here. Uh, Gary was planning to actually do the first lift for the jacuzzi to lift it over the garage into the garden and then move uh, the spider crane into the garden and lift it into place on the patio. But now they've changed the plan because apparently the jacuzzi can be slid uh, on the airbags closer once the, the van comes in here and can, they can slide it off uh, in between the garage buildings and then Gary can basically place the spider crane inside the garden uh, on the steep ramps you'll see in, in a minute uh, and then hopefully lift it from the outside into the garden and then drive well track around into the place and then put it into final position where, where the jacuzzi needs to be so hopefully fingers crossed the rain will stop soon and you can hear how qui how quiet it is nice and quiet uh, no roaring and vibration from the diesel engines so this is pretty good going and nice and pleasant for the ear and for the neighbors. Look at the steep tracks. This is what's gonna tackle. Apparently, uh, the spec sheet of this crane can say you can have you can climb the inclination up to 20 degrees. This is pretty steep, but it should tackle it. Bear in mind, this machine weighs just under 2.4 tons. Look, here is a little bit of the tricky situation here because the, as the spider crane is trying to be tracked, they have dismantled. Uh, part of the fence so they can squeeze the crane in through the opening but there's another play another obstacle the surface is leaning towards this this wall so you can see the the crane is leaning towards uh, towards this uh, part of the garage and they still try to negotiate and squeeze the truck around the post they might have to level uh, this right truck up a bit so it brings the top away from the wall that, that, that might be the solution, we'll see. Yeah, they've chosen this type of solution because the distance from the curbside into the final position of the jacuzzi is about 37 meters. So you would probably need a very, very large loader crane, potentially as big as the 200 ton that we saw back in Norway last year. But those type of loader cranes in the UK are not available. Hence, we have to resort to the spider cranes. And that's another problem with it. it's uh, it's quite wet so the grip isn't the best when it's wet obviously and uh, that might be uh, a slight problem to actually climb on that high incline to get onto the garden You see the, the, one of the front foots that is close to the, to the wall. You see the, the, the post. Because the, 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 cam, the camber of the road is making the machine lean onto the wall and now the, the one of the foot is stuck on one of the posts. Now the guys are re repositioning the off-road jacking system, which is the balloon uh, being blown up with the exhaust gases from the car. They're gonna remove it and try to press against the wall to push the uh, spider crane away from the wall. 
so uh, the operator can maneuver it either fo forward or backwards. It doesn't matter how small the crane is, the, the problems are just as big. You can't move, you can't push two and a half tons just as easily as 25 kilograms. Because of we try, we try to utilize the uh, off-road jacking system, the machine turned to be heavier than the strength of the concrete wall of this old garage. So we don't want to demolish it, we're going to have to find another way of making the, the crane free. Right, the guys on site were trying to uh, come up with a plan B. They managed to uh, rem uh, free up the spider crane by extending the tracks to push, push it away from the wall. So thankfully, and now they're trying to remove the post with the door so they can give a bit more playroom so it's away from the, from the wall and still made it, uh, make it to climb onto the garden. At 780 millimeters wide, access was, let's be generous, fridge sized. The ground sloped, the surface was slick. Even with the post out, it proved that it's still not, long enough, not good enough because the ramps need to be longer for, because of the height difference between the garden plinth and the ground here. The run is a little bit too short, so it needs extending the, the ramp incline for it to be able to climb what it needs to get. From there, graceful, controlled. Nine meters of horizontal reach, officially beyond the published duty chart. But it did it, quietly, cleanly, without belching a single puff of diesel. So the job didn't go didn't go quite uh, to plan. Uh, the half of the lift, well, the, the jacuzzi is in place but not exactly in the position where the client needed it because of the difficulties trying to get this little beast onto the higher level of the where the garden is so it wasn't possible to achieve that especially with this amount of rain slippery surface incline and and, and very short run uh, short run ramps that the client tried to uh, organize but they weren't sufficient they weren't long enough to actually enable the the little beast to climb onto the onto the level hence uh, the guys managed to set up the uh, set up the crane outside out, outside the garage as you can you could see uh, lifted up from the from the van that was uh, the jacuzzi was delivered and oversailed it and placed it uh, the 440 kilograms jacuzzi into the garden the next steps uh, will have to be taken by the client and decide what he wants to do and how he wants to do it. And that's the nature of the lifting job. You never know what you're walking into. Uh, and in this case, this yeah, it could be a walk up, walk on, walk in the park, or it could be a five minute job, which in this case should have been five minute job, turn into the four hour full effort. And it's still, we achieved 50, 60% of the, of the mission uh, because of the difficult access to the job site.